Hi guys, Phil from Marston with AI. And today we're going to use two tools. We're going to use niches and we're going to use shortly AI. Here's the reason why I'm going to use two. Niches is fantastic for writing short form content. Um, and shortly AI is brilliant for writing long form content that is easily directed. Um, it, it flows very well. So, why the two tools apart from like, sort of the obvious ones, mainly short form, one's long form? Well, all tools, all the AI tools, all the AI content tools are dipping into the same well of GPT data. Um, and the thing that makes them different, produce different results, is the instructions that we give the tools, the questions we ask of it, and also the way they've been programmed by the programmers, the creators of the tools. So if we combine different tools, we get different results. If we combine lots of tools, we get lots of different results, and I think we lose our voice. So my plan is to use niches for the ideation, brainstorming, and for some of the content as well, and then use uh, surely AI for the long form content. I'll show you what I mean. So um, I was writing um, a short blog post um, for a uh, single dad, separate dads, give them hope for the future, etc. Uh, and I wanted to give them some affirmations, a free affirmations uh, kind of blueprints. I think I wanted 101 is what I start off with. And I thought, well, hang on, I'll record this for you and show you where, where I'm heading with this idea. So um, we had listicle style posts in niches. So these are great if you're going to develop in a, a web post or you're going to be um, posting on social media. Nice little snippet titles. And then you can put your images in and links to uh, your websites, etc. I would I would uh, suggest you have a website for this kind of stuff. It doesn't have to be your own. could be medium. could be, could be whatever. Um, good little titles here, people are searching for. You can tweak these with um, any, any of your key, keyword uh, research tools to make sure you're hitting the nail on the head, as it were. Uh, blog post intro. This is what I was really interested in because this will set the tone for... Um, shortly AI. So we'll try this one, guys. Um, and what we should do when we're using this in kind of the, the real world is these paragraphs, we want to edit them at the start so as they kind of um, resonate the message um, and the voice that we're trying to convey to, to our readers, to people who are seeing this post. So I'm trying to resonate um, hope and confidence and belief in the future, uh, a very positive message, and that's why the affirmations fall in as well. So I'd, I'd edit this post or begin in the intro, trust reflect that. But anyway, that, that's what I, I would do if we're using this in anger. So let's just see. In um, Surely AI, we've got a little article brief, so let's tell it what we want to do. We wanted to write um, a list of positive affirmations for separated fathers. Um, How is that spelling? It looks, <laughs> it looks okay to me. My spelling is absolutely awful, guys. Um, so we, we'll use an instruction now. So what we need to do is just write instruct. There aren't many instructions, by the way. Um, it's just a, a quick way of, of accessing the, the powerful uh, flow tools that you've got in shortly. There's, I'll, I'll show you what they are, guys. Um, so you've got one page of instruction here, how to get your AI to write. That's <laughs> one page. The second page is uh, understanding uh, how you're understanding how the AI sees the data that you're given to it. And the third one is the slash commands. At the, for the time being, guys, that's it. That's all you've got. But my goodness, this, this is powerful. Okay, so instruct. And now we'll just paste in that little list there or that little command from the article brief. We'll let it know that we wanted to start uh, generating a list for us by putting the little uh, the little slash in there. It's called is it called an oblique or a hyphen? It's called a hyphen, isn't it? Um, and then all we need to do is move me out the way for a start, <laughs> and then we'll we'll set it to uh, right for me and we we'll see what it gives us, guys. I was hit and miss, um, but what I really like about shortly is you can redo like that. You can edit as you go along. And as it's writing a uh, new content for you, it's looking at the preceding 1200 words and using that to set the tone for what it's going to write next, which I really, really like, because you can go in and edit that. So if it produces some content and maybe, I don't know, 70, 80% of it is good. 
but it's going off message. You can edit it before it starts writing the next chunk, which is really, really useful. So let's see, uh, using affirmations, that's, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a list, aren't we? So let's see if it understands what it wants. Okay. I, I, that's that's not positive, is it? I'm um, not weak like my my mother. I don't I don't really like that. So we, we'll we'll do that again. I've got to keep a positive vibe here, guys. I think. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is my first afternoon of using shortly in anger, as it were. Um, I used it about three weeks ago on a trial, but I just didn't have the opportunity to, to delve into it properly, so there's no point in taking out a uh, subscription. I've got time now, so it's what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, guys. Uh, niches and shortly AI, I think, is one powerful combination. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a, an affiliate for shortly, by the way. They haven't got an affiliate program yet, but when they do uh, have one, I will be an affiliate. Definitely, it's absolutely superb. Um, Okay, so let's just say this is not giving us the information that we want. So I'll show you um, a little trick. So free forward slashes, and what that says is ignore everything that has been written beforehand. And now let's just get rid of this. Okay, everything that I learn with uh, shortly and these years, I'm going to share with you guys because this is going to be a symbiotic relationship. I'm going to learn stuff in shortly that will be applied to niches and stuff in niches will be applied to uh, shortly as well. Do you know what? <laughs> it's doing this on purpose, I think, just because I'm recording this for you guys. Okay, so let's put this as a list. So we can let them know we want you to develop a list, for goodness sake. Um, I'm doing what I can, I'm doing everything I can. Now these affirmations don't seem hugely uh, positive to me at the moment, but that's where our voice stamp and our voice comes onto these things. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> I'm the man of the house. <laughs> um, okay, we want a list, so we'll keep on editing this as we go through. I hope you see the, the power in this, guys, because do the AI tools, they kind of like, you give them an input and they produce an output and that's it, you know, you go and edit it uh, and then you, you, you know, kind of reiterate. With this one, you're in a flow with the software, so it is really like having an assistant, someone to bounce ideas off. So, you know, I'm a good dad, I'm cool with that. Uh, I'm the man of the house, uh, I mean... <laughs> Maybe 1950, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, we'll keep on reiterating. And then each of these points, we can expand on using shortly AI and niches to develop more and more content for a web post. So I hope you see where this is going, guys. I hope you see where the power of this is, these two particular pieces of kit working together. I'm very, very excited. Um, I will be taking out the full uh, premium version for a year, probably next month. Uh, I've got a lot of expense this month. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is absolutely incredible, guys. So if this helps you, let me know. I'm going to be putting this on YouTube because in the, the niches group, that, that's four niches, and I, I want to remain faithful to uh, the concept of niches there. And Malcolm has like, helped me a lot to develop the group, so I don't want to be um, posting other software there. So this is going on to YouTube alone and onto my email list. So um, the stuff I'm sharing with my email list, I'm not sharing on YouTube or uh, the Facebook group, um, simply because it's you know kind of private members, I suppose. Um, I want to have a relationship uh, with people I'm sharing my content with, uh, and that's how I'm doing it with, with the email list. So if you're interested in some kind of stuff I'm not sharing uh, publicly, then jump on the email list and it'll be, it'll be shared uh, as I, I de as I develop it. If not, then uh, hop onto uh, YouTube and uh, see what I got there. Anyway, I hope this helps, guys, and uh, take care, and I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.